the investigation, you want to start with the person that's closest and work your way out. Uh, in this case, the murder of Avis Banks, her fiance, Kian, was the closest person that we were looking at. He was transported from the house to the police department because we had more questions for him. We also wanted to check his hands for uh, gunshot residue and check his clothing because they had, at that point, become evidence. They took him to the station that night. I, I think that was pretty common police practice, you know, to at least, you know, uh, have him to give a statement there to police that night, right after Avis' body was found. Observed that Keon was taking calls while he's being interviewed. He's talking to uh, several friends. He's talking to his mother. He was on his phone, calling folks on the phone. Law enforcement and some others thought that was odd. On the surface, Keon Pittman was educated. He was clean cut. He was one of those type of individuals that a woman probably would love to bring home their parents. But he just seemed a little odd, his actions that night. Keon was the one that had the blood on his shirts, on his clothes. Uh, he's the one that was acting very odd. It seemed more likely that Keon Pittman committed the crime. Okay.